Hi everyone, I am Elian from DocMaker and today I'm going to show you how you can create PDF documents super easily from a docx template using our new plugin DocMaker Easy PDF Creator that you can install on your Bubble app. So first of all, uh, let's have a look at uh, how it works. So it all starts with a docx template. So this template, you can create it either in Microsoft Word or any docx editor, or even online, like for example, on, on Google Drive. And you're gonna upload uh, the template or, or paste the link of your uh, template into DocMaker dashboard. Then you're gonna use our plugin interface inside your Bubble app to send dynamic data. The data will be merged with the template by DocMaker API and the output, the result PDF or DocX uh, file will be uploaded to your app and can also be uploaded to DocMaker server. So let's start the demo and it all starts, as I said, with the, um, the template. So uh, in this case, I'm going to use a template that I've prepared on uh, Google Drive. So it has to be a DocX template. So make sure that you're using DocX even if you are using Google Drive. And uh, the way DocMaker works is that it's going to uh, locate those tags or variables inside your template and replace them by dynamic data. So everything in between curly braces will be replaced by the data you send from your Bubble app. On this page, we can see two different types of tags. Uh, the tags which starts with a percentage sign are image tags, which means that they will be replaced by images. And the simple tags like this one uh, are gonna be replaced by text. And you can update your document online uh, it's saved uh, automatically and make sure that you share the file with um, anyone with the link. When you're using Google Drive, make sure that you uh, use it with anyone with the link. You can copy the link and this is the link we're going to use um, in our DocMaker dashboard to create our template. So you can go ahead to the templates section and we will add new template. So you can see that you can um, have different kinds of templates, either Google Drive links. You can also fill out PDF forms with a different plugin, with a different bubble plugin. You can upload a docx file or a PDF file. So in this case, we're going to use the Google Drive docx link. I'm gonna give it a name. So let's call it my demo um, template. DocMaker is going to assign the template ID automatically. It's uh, just going to create a slug, as you see. And I'm going to paste right here the link to my uh, Google file. Going to save it. OK, at this stage, so it's moving to the My Templates tab, and it's going to create a preview. That's it, you see. it has created a preview of the document, um, of the first page of the document. And what it has done too is that it's it has uh, created the tags. So the tags are in a JSON format. So this is a JSON object. Don't be uh, scared. It's very easy. It's basically uh, only keys and values. So you have all the keys from the document, so that's all the tags in your document, and we're going to use this to insert the dynamic data in the with the plugin in the Bubble application. Now, before we go further, we have to insert the API key inside uh, your Bubble app. So let's go to the settings and API key section. Click on API key, and here we have the API key that was automatically generated by DocMaker when uh, you've created your account. So let's copy it, go back to the Bubble app, to the plugin section. First, of course, you have to install the plugin using the Add Plugin button and find uh, the right DocMaker plugin. So we're going to use this one, the new one, DocMaker Easy PDF Creator. Okay, 
Well, it's already installed uh, on my app. It's this one. And here in the API key section, I'm going to uh, paste the API key that I took from the DocMaker dashboard. Now we are ready to use the plugin. So let's go back to the DocMaker dashboard and back to the templates section. And now we are ready to go ahead and use the, the JSON data to uh, customize our plugin. So let's go ahead and copy to the clipboard the list of tags using this button. And I'm going to move to this um, app, which is a demo app that you will also be able to access. It's very basic with a few fields. And let's update the workflow. So uh, I'm going to delete this step and we're going to recreate it together. So we're going to insert the DocMaker create PDF from DocX template action. And let's have a look at the different fields that we have in the plugin interface. Uh, so first of all, um, we have to choose the output format. It can be either a DocX or a PDF. Um, depending on your use case, it can be useful to modify the DocX um, one or, or multiple times before generating the final PDF. Uh, then you have to insert your app's uh, URL. So this is very easy. It's uh, this formula in bubble website home URL. You're going to assign an output file name. So you can either insert a dynamic name or, or, or just type something. And don't forget to add the type of your file. So .pdf. Then uh, we're going to insert the template ID here, but I'm going to first paste my JSON in the JSON data section, and we will fill it out together. The template ID, let's go back to the dashboard. The template ID is here. Remember, we, we created it together. So I'm going to copy the template ID and add it here. And uh, let's have a look at the other options. You can define the width for uh, all images. So let's say 200 pixels. You can also define individual image uh, size. Uh, we'll see it later uh, when I'll show you the user guide. You can define what uh, will be done with the uh, empty tags, which means when no data is sent to replace a, a tag. So you can leave the tag, remove the tag, or print undefined. You can choose a PDF engine. Uh, we have two different PDF engines. The custom PDF engine accepts only um, Google Fonts. It's faster, but you can only use Google Fonts like uh, Lato, Poppins, um, Verdana, etc. The standard uh, engine accepts all kinds of fonts, but it's a bit slower. Then you have to decide where you want the result file to be uploaded. It could be either uh, in your Bubble app or on DocMaker or on both. Uh, in this case, I'm going to choose both. You can get the file in base64 format. Um, it's faster if you don't check this box, but uh, in some cases you will need this format, so you can check this box. You can decide whether you want to show your request in the logs or if you want to keep them private. Then um, you can add some metadata uh, to easily identify um, your your uh, workflow runs in DocMaker dashboard. And we will see in other videos how to use webhooks for large files or uh, when you uh, have a risk to go beyond the 30 seconds timeout uh, limit uh, that Bubble has set on um, workflow actions, on, on plugin actions. And you can define the privacy settings. So uh, upload the file as private in your app and attach it to an object uh, in your Bubble app. Um, so that's it for all the, the, the fields. And now let's fill out the, the JSON data. Um, so as you've seen in uh, this demo app, we have a few fields. We have customer name, customer email. We have a logo image. 
So let's use these, um, these fields to um, populate the data. So your data can either come from front end like here, or you can also do a search and get data from your back end. So I'm going to click just between the two quotation marks and insert my data here. Um, so here is my name. I'm just, just going to put random data. So customer names value we have the company. So let's insert the company here. Uh, with oh no, it's an email that we have. I'm going to put the customer name again and the email. Where do we have an email field here? Okay. I'm just inserting random data just to show you how this works. Customer email value. What we can do also is maybe to go and uh, use some data from the back end, so from the database. So let's use uh, do a search. We're going to use the order items table, the oops, uh, the first item section, item color. Okay, that's just to show you how you can use data from your, your database. And let's say that I've forgotten, for example, the second uh, my address line. So I'm going to copy this. Okay, and I'm going to remove the line. You can use this button here, set another key value to add some data. Um, if you need, and if you don't want to modify the, the JSON, you can add data in this section here. Make sure you remove the quotation marks. That's good. And you can um, add data here. So I'm going to use maybe another color just to show you that uh, you can add data in, in this way. Um, I'm going to use the last item for, for a change. OK. So I think that we are all set. Um, we have a template, we have some JSON data, and we've set uh, different kinds of settings. I'm going to choose here remove tags because I don't want to have undefined um, fields everywhere on my output file. And that's it. Let's go and run it. OK. And before we preview the document, I'm going to make two more changes. First, let's add the logo image here. So I'm going to click in between the curly braces here. Insert data and add the image logo, image logo's value. And uh, we also have to update this step here result of step one and we have a choice between output file docmaker copy so that's the copy uploaded to docmaker so i'm going to use the output file because i've chosen here to upload to both so i will have both the docmaker file and the uh, file uploaded to my app and we should be good to go let's preview Okay, so we don't have to provide the template ID because remember, we already uh, added it, um, like hard coded it uh, here in the plugin, so we don't need to provide it. We're going to use this data and I think we're good to go. So let's click on Run Doc Maker and that's it. PDF file is created. You can um, see here the link and if we click it opens the file and you can see that the logo has been inserted um, and replaced this uh, logo tag. Um, and all the data that we provided was uh, inserted in, in the document um, as we um, customized it. And the customer email, I was looking for the customer email, it's in the footer. Let's check. Yes, we have. John Doe, so the customer email was also replaced in the footer. So that's all good. Now, um, if I go back to my um, DocMaker dashboard, 
I'm going to go to the workflows section. I have to reload it. Okay, you can see that after your first run, a uh, workflow is going to be created for you by DocMaker. And uh, it's you're going to have one workflow for your test version and another one for your live version. So this makes it easier for you to uh, identify uh, where your um, workflow are running. And if I click here, okay, the results were refreshed. So uh, you can see that two uh, runs uh, have been performed. I have run um, one first run before the video. And um, you can see the actual log of what has run and the result file. And if I click on the log, I'm going to see the details of uh, what has been sent. Um, so you can see here the JSON request, and this is very useful for you to see exactly what the plugin has sent uh, to DocMaker. Uh, and you also have the JSON response here. Um, and you can, of course, open the result file from here. So you're going to have all your logs. and. I want to show you also what happens uh, when there is an error. So let's create an intentional error by uh, modifying the template ID. For example, if I add one here and I reload the app, <clears throat> so this template doesn't exist actually, so it should trigger an error. So let's run it again. That's it, client error. So let's go back to the dashboard and refresh it. Okay, now the error is visible here. And if I click on the line, I can see the error code, the reason, so template not found. And I can see what has been sent and, and I can see that I have sent this template identifier, which uh, actually doesn't exist. So it can really help you to uh, use this um, um, this log um, to see the detail of the error and and to go into the data to see what went wrong. Um, and that's it for the demo. Uh, what I can advise you to do is to um, go to our user guide and um, have a look at how you can create your um, DocX template because there are lots of options. And you can insert all kinds of data like rich text and images, and uh, you can um, uh, insert conditions to display some paragraphs or not. Um, you can also um, add loops, which will increment a list or add lines uh, to a table, uh, adding rows to your table, like in this example. You can have nested loops you can create QR codes, you can insert uh, rich text in HTML format, uh, so that can be very useful uh, if you want to format your, your data. Uh, so uh, I really advise you to, to go and have a look uh, at our user guide. And that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this demo. And we remain, of course, available for any question uh, you would have, and we are available to, to help you anytime. Thank you. Goodbye.